For most organizations that dispatch goods to their customers, the final step in the process is booking a carrier to deliver those goods. There are generally a number of data points that need to be communicated with that carrier for the successful delivery of those goods to that customer. For the streamlining of this process, Leverage Technologies in partnership with IFS Smart Freight has created an add-on for SAP Business, One, SAP Business One to improve the efficiency and accuracy of this dispatching procedure. What I'll be running through today is that IFS add-on for SAP Business One, where I'll be demonstrating sections of the setup and workflow. So what I'm going to do first is go through the customer setup for the IFS add-on. So I'm in the delivery screen at the moment and using the golden arrow, I'll drill through, drill through to BlueZoom Technologies to explain some of the setup behind this account. So first of all, I, I'm looking at the shipping type. So BlueZoom Technologies has a preference of Australia Post. Now, when we set that up in SAP Business One with the IFS add-on, there are a number of additional fields that are added to um, confirm the, the carrier, the default service, and the default routing uh, that is preferred. So we'll go through some of that later as part of the ConNote setup. Below that, we also have the IFS default charge to. So generally, this is defaulted to the sender, sending being the organization that's dispatching the goods. So that means you'll be billed from, let's say, Australia Post at the end of the month or the billing cycle. But there are other options here where the receiver, so let's say BlueZoom Technologies, gets billed directly from Australia Post. So that can be set up within the IFS add-on. And there's also an option for the third, um, a third party to be billed as well. So very, um, these things need to be considered as part of that setup. As well as that, there's an additional tab on the right-hand side here called IFS Interface. This is where we can set up um, the cost center, so wherever the cost will go um, as part of the freight costs. And we also can set alternate carriers that this customer, BlueZoom, prefers, so where we've got both Australia Post and Star Trek. So a few things that need to be considered when setting up the customer as part of the IFS um, add-on. But once this is set up, this will streamline the process. So we'll go OK out of that. The next thing we'll do is actually create the con notes. So this is part of the workflow that IFS has. So when I click create IFS con note, it will grab the necessary information from the customer. So Australia Post, um, who will get billed and what default service. The um, the weight and dimension information, and also uh, other information regarding special instructions and addresses. So let's click on that. And what we'll have here is the IFS ConNote screen. So this is the IFS add-on, and it's transposing that data from the customer and that delivery document into a ConNote. So up the top left, we have the IFS sender details. So this is the organization that's sending the goods. Details around the customer on the left hand side, so that are classed as the receiver. Address information, who the sender is, so this is um, the organization who's operating SAP Business One. Special instructions that can be included. And also the carrier information as well. So when I set up BlueZoom, I said that Australia Post is the default um, carrier, but you can override it at this point in time if the customer chose to use a different um, carrier for this particular consignment. Just above that, we have different um, selection modes. So this is a great tool to allow you to define if you want different routes. So we have options here for cheapest delivery method. So when this information gets sent to IFS, it will calculate who, uh, what carrier and service will provide the cheapest delivery method. There's also an option here for cheapest delivery method within a specified lead time. So using a combination of lead time and what the cheapest method is for that given lead time. And there's another option here for the fastest delivery method. So excluding price, what is the quickest method of getting those goods to your customer? So number of options there that can be defined. Down the bottom section of the screen, it's confirming the, the number of cartons, therefore the number of labels that need to be produced. Also the weight and dimensions of those cartons 
to optimize the calculations of cost. We've also got a section to indicate dangerous goods or DG lines or dangerous goods lines. So for those items that are dangerous, you can indicate that within SAP Business One and they'll be itemized here. So the carrier is aware of any dangerous goods that are within that consignment and they may attract additional costs um, as part of that. There's also additional options for freight and labels. So is there are additional um, labeling numbers or reference numbers. They can be um, included on the in these two options here. There's also indicators if, um, for batteries and foodstuffs. If insurance needs to be included as part of the cost, they can be included as part of the IFS con note. And there's also additional IFS reporting fields um, that can be defined within the system as well. So once that's been um, finalized and confirmed by that uh, individual within um, the dispatch area, they'll add this document. And once, that add, um, once they've hit add, it will send this data to IFS Smart Freight and then immediately do the booking with that carrier being Australia Post. If that's all been confirmed and validated, a label will be instantaneously printed from the designated printer. Now that the label's been successfully printed, we get to see information relating to that uh, con note within the IFS add-on. We see the, uh, the con note number or tracking number to allow us to trace this particular consignment to the customer. We also see cost information here. So this will allow us to analyze this data in retrospect within SAP reporting. 